Malicious APKs evade detection, quantum resilient FIDO2 security keys, and a severe WinRAR flaw is disclosed. All that coming up now on ThreatWire. Greetings, I am Shannon Morris and this is ThreatWire for August 22nd, 2023. This is your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. Let's go ahead and jump right into the news this week. According to the cybersecurity firm Zimperium, bad actors are taking advantage of Android package files, or APKs, with new and unique compression methods to slip past security measures. With over 3,300 artifacts using these elusive compression algorithms, having been discovered in the wild. A subset of 71 of these samples runs on Android OS version 9 or higher. Now, the APKs are not being distributed via the Google Play Store. They are being spread by untrusted app stores, or they are using social engineering to trick unsuspecting users into side-loading them. The researchers discovered that these APKs are using an unsupported decompression method, which can hide them from malware analysis. Security researcher Fernando Ortega explains that this technique thwarts decompilation tools, allowing them to slip into your Android devices. Now, because of the way Android 9 or later allows for unsupported or unknown compression methods, this can work on newer phones. Android 8 and older do not allow for installation from unsupported or unknown compression methods. Zimperium noted a post by Joe Security in June of 2023 about an APK with these elusive behaviors. The company began their own analysis and covering more details. They discovered that the attackers are not only using compression techniques to evade flags, but also creating long file names and corrupting the Android manifest.xml files, which can crash analysis tools. To mitigate potential risk to your own devices, avoid third-party app stores, stick to the Google Play Store for your app shopping. For non-Play Store downloads, check the app against a reputable mobile antivirus tool. Don't agree to any suspicious permissions and avoid rooting your Android device as this gives the user the admin role, allowing for apps to run at higher privileges. Google is making waves with their first ever open source quantum resilient FIDO2 security key implementation. Now, FIDO2 is an open standard for two-factor and multi-factor authentication, as well as the newer passwordless passkey authentication. Google and ETH Zurich created an ECC Dilithium hybrid signature schema, which is a quantum resistant cryptographic signature scheme that's tough enough to face the challenges of the future even against quantum attacks. As quantum computing becomes a reality, our classic security methods are under threat. Google's engineers crafted a Rust-based Dilithium implementation that only uses up a tiny 20 kilobytes of memory, which gives us that quantum resilient security with minimal memory footprint. This hybrid signature scheme got the spotlight at the ACNS, which is the Applied Cryptography and Network Security 2023 event, snagging the Best Workshop Paper Award. This hybrid implementation is now part of Google's OpenSK, their open source security keys project. This project supports both FIDO U2F and FIDO2 standards, aiming for a more secure web browsing experience for all. Google's Chrome browser incorporates quantum resistant encryption mechanisms, and Google is bringing the new ECC Dilithium hybrid proposal over to FIDO2 in the hopes that it will be adopted by other major browsers as well. Biggest of shout outs to my Patreon supporters, especially my golden s'mores and their fur babies for making the show possible since we do not have traditional ads on the show at all. Become a part of the s'mores and join folks like Dana, Kirk, Jeremy, and Jose over at patreon.com slash Shannon Morris. That page will give you early access to these very videos, a private Discord group, a monthly live streamed Q&A session, and all sorts of other goodies as well. If you are currently a patron on the ThreatWire page, make sure to switch over to the new one so you don't lose access to your perks later this year. Let's go ahead and finish out today's episode with my last top story, which is all about 
WinRAR, of all things. If you are a Windows user, chances are you have heard of WinRAR, the file archiver, a high severity vulnerability, which is tracked as CVE 2023-40477, has just been discovered in WinRAR that could let attackers execute code on your system. The flaw was spotted by a researcher going by the name Goodbye Celine from Zero Day Initiative. They found that by tricking you into opening a specially crafted RAR file, attackers could potentially run arbitrary code on your computer. That issue stems from improper validation while processing recovery volumes. So from a technical standpoint, it's a case of lack of proper validation of user supplied data, which can lead to accessing memory past the end of an allocated buffer. Now the severity rating is 7.8 according to the CVSS and an attacker needs to trick you into opening a specific archive. The good news is RAR Lab, the makers of WinRAR, released WinRAR version 6.23 on August 2nd, 2023, and it's designed to patch this issue. So if you are a WinRAR user, update to the latest version ASAP. But there is more. WinRAR version 6.23 also fixes another issue where specially crafted archives could lead to starting the wrong files. Microsoft is currently testing Windows 11 to implement native support for RAR, 7-zip, and GZ files, which would mean you would not even need third-party software like WinRAR unless you are diving into its advanced features. In the meantime, though, keep your WinRAR updated, watch out for sketchy RAR files, I just like roaring, it's super fun, and have a good antivirus scanner to inspect those archives as well. I'm Shannon Morris, make sure to stay vigilant, stay secure, and I will see you on the internet.